Hello again viewers. Today we're just outside the Paradise Park Fun Lifestyle Hotel in the resort of Los Cristianos in Tenerife. We're almost at the top of the resort, at the top of the hill. There's a few other places beyond it. Not many. You've got the Castle Harbour and you've got the Oasis up there. So as I said, we're at the top of the hill. We're just going to take a wee quick walk today. Let me show you a few places that are round about the Paradise Park. If we head down that way, down the hill, we'll eventually get to Pastorella Shopping Centre. So you get Casey's Bar. Just keep walking, we'll come to the El Mirador Strip. Taylor's Lounge, Gigi's, Happy Days, Bojangles. Five minute walk away, sorry. If you're at the Paradise Park, it's a good location for a lot of bars. You can see the Pastorella Shopping Centre and Casey's just in the distance there, not far away at all. Casey's a very popular bar. We've done a few walks all the way down to the beach, so we'll just walk up the side of the Paradise Park. Okay, so we're just crossing the road here. This guy here just does not know the concept of zebra crossings. <laughs> you have to be prepared for that, don't you? You never know if we're going to stop or not. And I've just seen something in the Paradise Park I've not seen before. I don't know if you can see that over the fence. They've got a wee sign up saying Buddies. I think it's a kids club. Being from Paisley, for some reason that interested me in a Paisley buddy. Supermarket across the road if you're staying at the Paradise Park. Stock up and all your supplies. You've got a fridge in your room if you're staying there. I've stayed there a couple of times. It's a, it's a nice hotel, I like it. It's got a rooftop pool, adult only as well. So it's really good for families, but it's also got a section for adult only. There's the supermarket across the road. You've also got apartment complex, the Dynastia. You can book that on booking.com. It's a steep hill here. Be aware if you're booking the Paradise Park, you've got any mobility problems. We used to do a courtesy bus, I don't think they're doing it anymore to the beach in the promenade. I wouldn't recommend it if you get any problem walking at all, especially going up hills. Unless, of course, you've got car hire or you're prepared to jump in the bus. It comes here all the time, drops you at the front door virtually, or get taxis all the time. But if you get any issues with walking, be aware it is quite hilly, right at the top of the resort. I've got up this wee hill just now and I'm a wee bit out of breath. That's because I'm unfit, maybe you're fitter. See if anything's open around here. I've stayed in the Paradise Park a couple of times. The last room I had was literally just up there. Standard rooms are quite nice. They're small. They're not. They're not big. They are small. But they've got a fridge in the room. That's quite a bonus for a hotel. Especially if you've got children. You seen the Goodfellas pool bar. That reminds me of the Goodfellas down in the beach at Las Vistas. We've got a popular restaurant here, the restaurant Koi. Maybe open later on. It's about, I think it's about half past four just now. So you can see you've got fantastic views. The rooftop pool in the Paradise Park. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Try and put the camera well away from my face. <laughs> Spin it down so you can see a bit of the resort. If you're interested in Tenerife videos, you're not already subscribed, just hit the wee button below, hit subscribe. It's absolutely free. And if you get fed up, from a Scottish accent, you can also do unsubscribe, which is absolutely free. Let's take a wee walk across here, there's not much up here. So we've got an internet cafe there, I've been in there, it's quite slow, but it does the job. You just need maybe a boarding pass printed. Shakespeare's open. 
Hey, Dad. Is there Sunday roast in there as well? Get a supermarket there as well for any supplies if you're not in the one across in Paradise Park. That's definitely the car to have in this weather. Open top, convertible, without a doubt. You recognise these apartments up here? If you've been to Lost Chris Janice a lot of times. Castle Harbour Apartments with the restaurant at the back. So it's showing you really the back of the hotel because when you come out of the Paradise Park you tend to just walk left, don't you, towards the town and the promenade and you forget there's quite a few places up here. Look how high up those apartments are. And these Sherpas they got there. <laughs> So we've got the El Paso Mexicano restaurant on the left hand side which is next to the swimming pool at the Castle Harbour. You've also got the Don Quixote restaurant which I think is probably open later on. It's too early for it to open now probably at this time. There's a few more apartment complexes down this way. Let this guy go by. I think this guy's doing a tour around the block, showing his car off. Just passed us a minute ago. You can see the El Paso restaurant is open. We've got some entertainment in here sometimes as well. Nice, you can sit in a glass of wine, the meal. You can listen to Emma Blacker, singer. Menu. There's a swimming pool at the Castle Harbour, I'll show you a wee bit of it. So if you're staying at the Castle Harbour, you've got a restaurant right in your doorstep. A wee pool bar is there, there as well. There's the Paradise Park, back down there. Thanks for watching, really appreciate it. If it's your first time watching Tenerife videos on this channel, consider hitting the subscribe button. Just for today it's free. If you're a regular viewer, again, thank you so much for watching it to the end. It means a lot to me. And if you hit the wee thumbs up, it just pushes it out on YouTube, really appreciate that. Thanks again. Check out all the other videos on the channel. See you in the next one.